राइट मैं वेलकम वेलकम बैक कहूं वेल्कम कहूं क्या कहूं दुबई के बच्चों को हम वापस वेलकम कर रहे हैं दुबई में बट बिकम आफ्टर यू बिकम लाइक द सुपर स्टार आई होप सो वन डे बट यू जस्ट एज ऑफ नाउ आई एम जस्ट नॉर्मल मैन एंड आई होप that this can actually propel a lot of other youngsters in this country to you know never give up on on this field as far as acting cuz there's not much acting maybe happening in the UAE yeah. but i do I, i know a lot of people who wanted to be actors when i first started off and everybody is like hamare pa- papa to doctor hain engineer hain construction mein hain kaise karenge mm. so i just feel that it took me 13 years to get something at, as big as this and but it it can it can happen so just don't give up So I want to take you back in your journey a little bit. What you were talking about when you were growing up, there were a lot of people around you who wanted to become actors. In fact, um, I want to know the, your special story of you getting admission in New York Film Academy, Abu Dhabi. We know there's a story behind it. Yeah, there is actually. There is. Um, so uh, first of all, let me just say I'm a mama's boy, mm. a complete mama's boy. So um, when I was in university, uh, I was in American University of Sharjah. and uh, my mom is a single mom and uh, my brother had traveled to canada so he was studying in canada so it was just me and my mom and mai har din aata tha you know i was hanging out with my friends party party jo bhi karna hai i come back home and this was when i was like what 18 right and i would see my mom working so hard day in day out she wouldn't be sleeping she wouldn't be eating much you know she's always just hustling 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 and then i was like bhai i can't be going out and partying and like come back and my mom's like you know slogging her ass off you know so i dropped out of university and then i started working with her for 2 3 years um so yeah so i i i i told my mom that i'm dropping out of university i'm going to help you out and she didn't really say don't do it she just said are you sure i said yeah i'm sure so 3 saal ke liye maine mummy ka maine mummy ki bahut help ki hmm. we did recruitment we did construction we did real estate pata nahi kya kya kiya but then the 2008 2009 mein jo financial crisis hua tha recession yes ha uh, to usme mera bahut nuksan ho gaya tha to maine bola ki aur mujhe na bahut stress aa gaya tha maine bola mummy मैं ना पैसों में डील नहीं कर सकता एंड इन दैट जो दौरान था वो सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन आई स्टार्ट मॉडलिंग अल बिट सो आई स्टार्ट मॉडलिंग एंड इट एक काम मिलता था हर दो आई मीन छः सात महीने बाद एक काम मिलता था छोटा सा बैकग्राउंड में पर मुझे बहुत खुशी होती थी बोला भाई तीन बजे सुबह मैं जाता था फुल ऑन रेडी फुल ऑन पम्प अप एनर्जी यू नो आई नेवर फील दैट कैन ऑफ एनर्जी इन एनी ऑफ द बिजनेस आई डी राइट सो आई टो माई मॉम दैट वन सो फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस हैपन आई कान डील इन मनी आई वुड लाइक टू ट्राई आउट न्यू ऑफ अकेडमी and my mom to be honest um jab bachpan mein jab when she was young she wanted to be an actress all right and us time pe it was looked down upon mm. you know it's uh, things will happen this and that not good for girls mm. and uh, her mom said ki main tujhe bedakhal kar dungi tu na to she had no choice so she left it and then her mother and father died very early so she had to start taking care of her both younger brothers so my mom's taking care of everybody till date you know so um then when that happened i she she immediately said yes she's like go try it you know she didn't even talk about the money didn't talk about anything she's like go try it i'll, I'll do whatever i can and then i said okay to do teen hafte chale gaye ek mahina chala gaya main maine join nahi kiya main bola then my mom came upstairs mm. i was sitting in my room and she's like what are you doing what happened to this acting i said i'm being stupid you know kis kaun sa acting kya karenge yahan pe you know there's no point forget it. i'll, I'll mm. see what i can do she grabbed me by my ear she put me in the car so i was in sharjah at that time and she drove me down to abu dhabi all right she put me in the boarding school i mean she put me in new york from academy she signed me on she paid the money <laughs> and she put me in this villa jahan par log reh rahe the and she like you stay here there was no bed there was nothing she like you stay here i'm coming back tomorrow with your clothes and uh, some food so you can st- you just start it was it was what us time pe friday saturday uh, band hota tha na to yeah so um, so I, she dropped me i think on that day and the next day was like monday or something and she like you want to start that's how i started my acting man i literally like i would never be able to do it if she didn't drag me and put me in it and then fr- and then i found my people you know it's very difficult to find your people yeah. everybody is always there to put you down nobody is there to cheer you on and but when you find your people you know they're there to get your back True. you know they're there to push you in your creative uh, liberties you know they they're there to like um, support you and that's what happened all these people from varied countries from varied places were there in your film academy and i was i was amazing at acting all right that was one thing i was really happy doing and other people were actually happy about it yeah and 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 first time i actually got like they they were marking us so i got an a plus 
ए प्लस कभी नहीं मिलता मुझे एजुकेशन में ठीक है कभी नहीं मिला मुझे सो आई वेंट टू हर पढ़ाई में सोचा कि मैं एल ए चला जाऊँ सो दैट्स आई गॉट न्यू ईयर फ्रॉम अकेडमी एंड देन माई मॉम से एल ए बहुत दूर है भाई <laughs> go to Bombay and try it out. Well, no, I'm happy. I'll try. Go three hours away. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. At least you can come back yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if there's any problem, then I can come to your place. You know, Delhi. If you go, then where, where, where? So that's how it started. Wow. Yeah. 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 Ye
the show finished and I have a, I think I show you, but I have a speech from Ron, all right? And where Ron said that, Taha, you have brutally made me eat my words, right? And if, if not for you, there would be no one who could do this. You know, and, and I have it on camera. That kind of feedback is your biggest earning, right? Dude, hustle, man. You know, that's what I'm saying. All that hustle and that one, those words, it's just, it's, you know, it's, 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 that's it's everything. It's, it's everything. It's everything. This is India's number one. I'm going to audition. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Audition, I'll eat the bar. Yeah, I'll give you a dose. 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 Don't worry, I'm not like that. I'm not like that. I'm helpful. I want to help people. I, this is what I'm here to, you know, like everything put apart. Um, this, I was actually telling ma'am, uh, Kansha, just before this, I was telling her that. She's like, what's this one thing you've learned in this last 14 years, 13, 14 years? And I've said that um, the one thing I've learned is that you don't have to do a project that you don't have to get. If you don't get it, you don't have to do it. But what is in your hands is your work ethic. You know, what's in your hand is that you skip these parties. Yes. You know, what's in your hand, you skip drinking. True. You know, you work on yourself, you develop yourself in all the aspects that an actor or a star needs to be, whether it be dance, whether it be action, whether it be acting, yeah. whether it needs to be talking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Stage presence. You know, host everything. Study, 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 study. Yeah. You know? And if you do that, then something will strike. Yeah. And absolutely. it did strike. It you know did what I mean? strike. And 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 there's there's nothing to it. That's what I've learned. Because I have put my heart in so many things, right? They've signed me on on big projects, and last day they just threw me out because somebody's son wants to come in. Oh my God! You know what I mean? It's heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah, and I've got that in like four, or five projects. You know, I've I've been taken up there. I've been dropped like a like I like I'm shit. You know what I mean? So it's like. You can't take that to heart though. Yeah, yeah. That's the true. biggest learning. True. And here you are. I want to know that uh, working with such an ensemble cast, like I mean, Nasir, and then there is Rahul Bose, Aditi Rao Hedri. I mean, uh, Dharam ji. Like, whoa. Was there performance pressure? Performance pressure? No. There was no pressure because I believe in my craft. You know, and I believe in. Uh, I've done 15 acting courses, in okay, all across the globe, right? So I know techniques from everywhere, right? And I've diligently dedicated my life to this craft. You know, it's not me. Tukka ni maro me yahan pe. I'm not like, ha, camera hai, main yeh look karum. No, no, no. I know exactly what is happening. All right, I'm present and I know. So there's nothing about being nervous. It's about me trying not to. Um, Spoil your performance. Yeah. I am only there to serve you. You know what I mean? And that is my whole acting thing. I've read it everywhere. I know it. I've spoken to a lot of actors across the globe. And they've always said that you have to help your co actors. Yeah. It's not about me, me, me. It's about us, us, us. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And if it's us, then it'll be good. If it's me, it'll be I. Mm. You know? And that's what I learned with Nasir, sir. He brought us in, you know, um, whenever we had a scene together, he would come, I would sit down next to him. He would. He would always be reading his script, all right? I would also always be reading my script. But I'm always peeping into what he's doing. You know, what are you, yeah. so tell me now, what are you doing? So then he would always guide us. Ki, achha, ye, ye, um, on this word, you know, maybe, what if we do this? How, what, what do you think about it? Asani ki yehi karo. What do you think about it? And what a respect, asking us kiddos, yeah. all right? That what, what do you guys think about it? How can we play it together? Yeah. You know, and that is his humility. That uh, more than humility, that is his, um, that is his dedication to his craft, you know, and his dedication and, and and his uh, his complete confidence yeah. in who he is and what he has inside him, you know, and that's what it is. He never 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 made us feel like we don't know anything or we're younger than him or anything. It's just it's just about let us do the best that we can, yeah. you know, Together. and that's what I've learned from him. I've learned that, and one more thing I've learned from him is that. He really speaks very highly of his wife, all right. And uh, I want to speak very highly of my wife one day. But I don't know. I hope, and uh, that's something I really, really, definitely want to. I've learned from him, family, 
career, everything's balanced. You know, my, my, my life is not very balanced. I'm all career, 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 career. That part is very small. Yeah. And it's not that I want to grow it or anything, but of course, when you find somebody right, it happens. Yeah. But as of now, I feel that all my focus is on this, on on making my mother proud. Yeah. You know, how many years of the sacrifices I have made, I have made a little bit you have put, said it on national TV that he is single and <laughs> looking. <laughs> um, batao, what has been the uh, you know off screen bond kaisa raha hai with Ashim and Shubham? My brothers, my brothers. man, They're my homies. <laughs> His watches, I love you guys. No, Sh Ashim, when I first met him, of course, there's always you know when you don't know somebody, there's yeah. always this cold kind of you know I have to do better than you, you have to do better than. Her. But then I, I, I realized over in a few days only, one, two days, that he's a great Salim, you know, and I'm a great Murad. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's no competition here. There's competition on screen, yes, I mean, as, in, as, as brothers and everything, yeah. but as actors, as humans, there's no competition. You know, I feel like, like today also, like I would recommend his name, you know, I would recommend him that he gets offers because I know how it is. He's an outsider. I'm an outsider. Mm. Shubham is an outsider. And we all three brothers are here together. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's uh, what connects you also, right? That you're of all outsiders in the industry. You got to be there for each other and help each other. You have to, right? Don't 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 insiders help each other? Yeah. So why can't outsiders help each other? Absolutely. You know? So I, I feel that Ashwin has done a fantastic job. And I told him that we should do something like I mean the film, the song is already taken, but I told him that we should do something like Mek Lari Tu Anadi. Yeah. You know, me and you. Let's do it. You know, I'm really great at action and I'm great at comedy, you're really great at acting, you're really great at action too. Let's just, just, let's just jam, let's jam, or let's just kill it <laughs> next year. And uh, as far as Shubham is concerned, it's his debut. Very proud of him, he's done a fantastic job. You know, um, it's, it's not easy um, for him to, you know, be on set for the first time and work with Nasir sir and work with, um, you know, Zarina Wahab. And, 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 and even, of course, Ashim also and me have been in the industry for 12, 12 years. You know, it's not our first film. But he knew how to face his camera, you know, he knew how to do his things. And uh, he would always listen. And he was, he, he's just like, But he's very goofy when, when he's on set. You know, very goofy, always making fun of Ashim. Yeah. Ashim and him had a very different connect. Yeah. I, would, I, would, I think just watching those two guys would always make me very happy. You know, always too much fun. <laughs> but uh, when, he's in, when he's inside, when he's in his room, he would always be thinking about, Mughal, Mughal ke time pe ye hua. He would know. He would know the history. Yeah. He would know. I didn't know the history. You but didn't. I, no, no, no. Like I, because how does the history help you in acting? History doesn't help you in acting. I was going to ask you the best part of working in a period drama. Do you know the history? No, no. <laughs> the, uh, it's not uh, working in a working in a. The best part of working in a in a uh, historical drama is that you get to live a different life. You get to go back 300, 400 years. You know, you get to be in a setting which nobody will ever be. Yeah. You know what I mean? That is what you take away. You take away relationships. You don't take away history lessons, right? Who cares about history lessons? Yes, of course, you know the you know the connection or the relationship between Akbar and Birbal, yeah. Akbar and Abu Fazl, or whoever it is, me and my my you know father Montserrat, um, and Pehla things like Mughal that. Pehla Mughal, uh, Babur. What a Babar, Humayun. We have a lot of years. Who is Babar? Who is Babar? Who is Babar? Who is Babar? Who is Good job. Good job. We, we, we did, I mean... The only one history lesson that I remember from my childhood days in Dubai is Mughal history. It was my favourite. I, I, I don't blame you bro. Mughal history is the best. It's the best. It's the, what, a, what, a, what a world. What a world. What a world, you know, just, just to live in. My, one of my favorite Urdu books right now is called Tughlaq. Yeah. And it's, what a great play, Yay. what great language, you know. And, and, and after this, after doing Taj, and I'm doing another show again in Urdu, but uh, after these two shows, it, it, it's, it's really made me... Initially, I used to write Arabic, mm. and now I really want to learn Urdu, mm -hmm. you know. Because I met uh, Javed, Javed Akhtarji, and sir ne kaha tha ki, Hamari zaban to Urdu hai. Yes. Aap log angrezi bolte rehte hai. Urdu padi Urdu. And I'm like, okay, let's let's let we have to do it. Exactly how he spoke when I met him. Yeah. And when I told him I'm from Lucknow, he said, Oof, Lucknow to Jaga it. He's a class apart, man. He's a class apart. Okay, finally, I'm just going to take some tips from you for to be fit. It has to come from the fitness icon of the year 2022 at the Universal Awards, right? 
तो बताओ प्लीज हम कैसे फिट रहे हैं आपकी तरह बॉडीली फिट यू नो आई वॉज ऑन स्टेज वन आई गर अवार्ड एंड देर वॉज अ गुरु जी सैंग नेक्स्ट टू मी एंड ही टू मी टू कम टू विशाखापट्टनम और लाइक दिल्ली में कहाँ पर है दिल्ली आगरा के पास कुछ जगह है वाइजैक वाइजैक समथिंग समथिंग दैट एनी वे ही टोमी टू कम देर इट्स वेरी स्पिरिचुअल प्लेस सो बिफोर ही केम ऑन राइट आई एम लाइक या आई एम गोन टॉक दिस आई एम गोन से अबाउट फिटनेस यू नो आई एम गोन एज सुन एज ही केम ऑन बोर्ड नो एंड ही केम ऑन स्टेज एंड ही वॉज सपोज टू गिव एंड आई वॉज लाइक इनिशियली आई वॉज लुकिंग एर एम विद लाइक स्केप्टिजम यू नो आई लाइक क्या बोलने वाला है बट वन यू सार्ट स्पीकिंग जस्ट माई हार्ट you know it opened up a different perspective he was so calm he was so grounded he was almost like jesus standing in front of me or something yeah. right so i'm like i was hoping that he would present the award to me <laughs> and it did happen all right so he presented the award and i i went up stage and i told him that you know i came here to tell you know to and i would i would i would i would be very thankful to everybody and i would talk about fitness but then when i went on stage i understood and when i saw him that the greatest fitness is not abs it's here you know the greatest fitness is your mind You know, and if your mind is not fit, you can have whatever body you want. There's no point of it. You know, it's not going to take you anywhere. So I would just say that if you guys want a strong body, then you need to develop your mind. You know, because if you if your mind is strong, then automatically you will you know you will take the steps required. Yeah. To get yourself fit. True. True. You know, so you have Willpower that vision. Willpower and everything, the determination, the dedication, it all comes from. It's all here. from here. It's not from this. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you if you if you do this. then this will automatically come very well said thank you so much that has been such a pleasure talking to you and we could just go on but baki yeah. interviews <laughs> bhi aapko karne hain but uh, yeah we'll let you go now thank you so much